Friends, I'd like to um, give a quick update about the grade book. So um, right now I've been working with Canvas to get the Learning Mastery Gradebook all on the first page when you click on grades. And what I'm doing right now is I'm going to show you how to access your child's grades until they can get that up and working for us. Um, here I am in a test course. Uh, when you click on grades for your child, they typically look like this. You'll see the assignments and then you'll see um, how many points they're out of and then their score. What you want to do when you see these scores, these scores will help you to determine which assignments a student needs to uh, redo. But the real value of this is going to come from both the Learning Mastery Gradebook, which can be accessed here, or the Show All Details section. So there's definitely two ways that you can access your students' grades. In the meantime, until we get Canvas to fix that first page where you can see all of the courses. So you'll need to click on the course, click on the word grades, and then you're going to want to do, I'll show you the first part, the Learning Mastery Gradebook. So when you click on your child's Learning Mastery Gradebook, in mine, I have multiple different subjects in here because this is a test course. But um, I can see here that one of these seven standards were mastered. In your student's gradebook, you will only see one of these drop-down menus unless the teacher has them broken down into categories. But for most courses, you will just see one drop-down menu. When you click on the drop-down menu, you'll see all of the standards that the students will have throughout the school year. Not mastered does not mean that your student has not attempted them at all. What it means is that there has not been an assessment, and you can see that because it says no alignment here. So all of these say no alignment, which means that they have not yet been assessed. For this particular test course, I've only assessed this standard. My student has a three in this course, which shows that they have mastered this standard. When I click on this dropdown, I can see the assignment name, the score that the student received, and if there were any comments, those comments would be underneath each one of these rubrics. If a student needed to maybe uh, redo an assignment or wanted to look and see what they needed to do for the assignment, they could click on the test assignment and it would give them whatever the details were as well as the entire rubric here on the bottom. Additionally, students can also view their grades, so you can go back to your students' grades. Mine, obviously, are from a teacher's view, so if you're back in your students' grades, they would look like this. On the Assignments tab, this is typically what you see when you log in. If you're not on the Learning Mastery tab, you typically see this. There's also this option of Show All Details. The Show All Details option tells you the assignment, the score, it also shows you the proficiency scale that goes along with that. And what I really like about this one is that you can click on the longer description and it opens it in another window and it shows you the proficiency scale. Mine is taking a few minutes to load here, but it'll show you the proficiency scale that goes along with that uh, assignment. And this is great because then students can look at it and can say, Oh, that's what I need to do in order to do, get a, receive a four. Uh, I, now I understand. I can go back and I can reattempt this assignment to see if I can get a four. Or on the next assignment for this standard, I know what needs to be done because the proficiency scale is the same for each standard. These are the two different ways that for the time being we can access our students' grades so it would be either through the Learning Mastery Gradebook, which I feel is sometimes a little bit more cumbersome, or in the Assignment tab, and it would be this tab here, which would say Show All Details.